Hello, fellow viewers. This is Prof. One Tutorials. My name is Alfred Amprofi, and I'm here again to help you look at another question under quotient rule. Quotient rule. So let's get started. Now, the question is, find the derivative. So let's write, find the derivative of y equal to root of x plus 1 all over x minus 1. Find the derivative of y equal to root of x plus 1 all over x minus 1. y is equal to any time an expression like this is given, we can rewrite this one as x plus 1 over x minus 1 or power half because root is the same as exponent half. In that case, we will still get y is equal to x plus 1 power half all over x minus 1 power half. So here, the exponent will affect the numerator as well as the denominator. And this is one application of indices. Indices. Okay. So now since we have this, we can start with the differentiation. So we have dy over dx is equal to so anytime we are differentiating, all that we are going to do is to keep the denominator, okay, or the expression below. We are going to keep it. We keep and then we differentiate the numerator. So we are going to keep x minus 1 exponent half. Then we will now differentiate the numerator x plus 1 exponent half minus then you now keep the numerator we have x plus 1 exponent half then we now differentiate the denominator which is x minus 1 exponent half all over the denominator squared so x minus 1 power half all squared. So we still have the y over the x. Now from here, we know that x minus 1 power half is the same as root of x minus 1. So now let's differentiate this. In differentiating this, we are going to use the idea we had under the chain rule because this one is carrying an exponent. In that case, the exponent will multiply the bracket. So we have half multiplying x plus one, minus one, difference one. So we have minus half. After that, you would differentiate what we have within the bracket. So when you differentiate x, we have one, but when you differentiate one, we have zero, because one, it's a constant. So 1 plus 0 is to have 1 minus x plus 1 power half is also the same as root of x plus 1. Then we we'll differentiate this using the same idea under chain rule. So the exponent will multiply the bracket. We have half into bracket x minus 1. Then we take minus 1 from the exponent. We have negative half. Then we will now differentiate what we have within the bracket. When you differentiate x, we have 1. But when you differentiate negative 1, we have 0. Because negative 1 is a constant. So plus 1, we still have 1. All over, from here, this can take up this. So it will be left with x minus 1 dy over dx, 
we still have root of x minus 1. Then from here, half multiplying x plus 1, exponent minus half times 1, we are still going to get the same half multiplying x plus 1, exponent minus half, minus root of x plus 1. Also, multiplying the same one here, we are still going to get the same expression. So, half x minus 1 exponent minus half all over x minus 1. When we get here, we still have root of x minus 1. Then, here the exponent is negative. And we can rewrite in form of a fraction. But the moment we pull the whole expression, which is in the bracket, at the denominator, the exponent will be positive. So it's the same as 1 over 2. So this one will be written below. So we have x plus 1, but the exponent will now be positive because we brought it below. Minus we have root of x plus 1 multiplying 1 over, we still have 2 multiplying x minus 1. Here, we'll, we are still writing it at the denominator. In that case, the exponent will be positive. All over x minus 1. All right. So we still have dy over dx is equal to root of x minus 1. Then, over here we have x plus 1 power half, which is the same as 1 over 2 root x plus 1. Minus, we have root of x plus 1 here, also multiplying 1 over 2 root x minus 1 all over the same denominator x minus 1 now when we get here we need to multiply this by the fraction but we know that this is the same as over 1 and over here this will also multiply this so the whole of this is also over 1 so now let's continue with the multiplication okay so in multiplying this times one we still have root of x minus one all over one times the denominator we have 2 root x plus 1 minus root of x plus 1 times 1. We still have root of x plus 1 over 1 times this. We still have 2 root x minus 1 all over x minus 1. Now, when we get here, we know that dy over dx, which is a differential, we have 1 here, but we don't write. So I can just put 1 over 2 out. So I have 1 over 2 multiplying root x minus 1 over root x plus 1. Minus, over here we also have 1 here, but we don't write. But we can just pull it out, getting 1 over 2, also multiplying root of x plus 1 over root of x minus 1. All over x minus 1. Now, let's look at the final answer. Over here, there is half here, there is half here. So we can factor half out. So we have half in a big bracket. It will be left with this when you factor the half out. 
but over here this contains root this contains root so we can just have a common root for it so we have root of x minus 1 over x plus 1 minus don't forget that let me make it a normal bracket good don't forget that this half has already been factored out so there is no half here this is under a radical sign this is also under a radical sign they can get a common radical so x plus one over x minus one all over x minus one so viewers this will be our final answer for the differential in our next video, we are going to look at implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation. Keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.